Here's meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. It is 616 on a snowy Friday morning. If you are just waking up and have yet to look outside, you might be surprised by what you see. We've had several inches of snow accumulating in the Treasure Valley, portions of the Treasure Valley overnight. Really will depend on where you're waking up, of course, how much snow you see on the ground. But I would count on a slow morning drive this morning. Main streets are looking OK right now, just a little bit slushy, but those side streets will remain snow covered. We continue off and on snow showers today. These are my big takeaways from today through the weekend. Our next significant round of snow happens tonight into tomorrow. This one likely dropping even more than what we saw this morning. We have a near nine inch deficit as far as snowfall goes in Boise so far this winter. We may make that up in the next several days. We get a little bit of a break on Sunday. Valentine's Day might be the uh, driest day of the extended period, and then we have snow again coming in for President's Day on Monday. So all of that to say I would anticipate travel delays across our region through the long holiday weekend. Now, as far as the snowfall right now, Radar is not picking up any returns across the Treasure Valley. I don't know that this is 100% accurate. I am seeing reports of still some flurries and light snow. We also have fog out there, though, so just might be struggling to pick up on those little snow particles through the fog. So visibility a concern right now. We are seeing plenty of snow out in eastern Idaho, and so I'm just going to call it off and on snow showers, like I mentioned, throughout the day today, but then really intensifying again tonight. We have nearly three inches on the the snow stake at Brundage from overnight. We will continue to add more and more snow to our area ski resorts. We're talking well over a foot likely by the time the weekend is over and done with in places like McCall. Current conditions, you can see the village skating rink is snow covered. We have snow uh, not visible coming down from the sky here on our tower cam, but you can see kind of overcast, hazy and gray this morning. We're at 29 degrees in Boise feels more like 20 because of a wind out of the northwest. So gusty winds are possible this afternoon, especially in the mountains. That means blowing snow remains a concern throughout the day. Just kind of a messy Friday. That's the big picture here. Our precipitation chances in the Boise region today. This looks significant. I think for the most part, again, these will be those light little scattered showers throughout the day and then really picking up in intensity later in the afternoon and early evening. We have a winter weather advisory that goes into effect at 11 o'clock tonight for the Treasure Valley because of the possibility of four, maybe five more inches of snow by tomorrow evening and then above 6,000 feet in the mountains. We'll see anywhere from six to 10, possibly 12 more inches by Saturday night. And remember, round three comes in on Monday. If you are a snow lover, you should be happy about this. A lot of us have been missing the snow. If you hate driving in it, though, you may want to just hunker down until the middle of next week and not go anywhere. Mid 30s is all we'll see today with those wind gusts possible of 20 to 30 miles per hour. Again, just kind of a miserable day to be out and about. Make sure uh, you bundle up the kids if they do want to go out and play in the snow later. That wind will have a big bite to it. Mid 20s for McCall, Donnelly and Cascade with light snow throughout the day. Sun Valley area may actually see some sunshine this afternoon. Magic Valley, you'll get up to about 40 degrees, but with a cold wind. So the snow returns tonight into tomorrow. Again, Sunday, we may still have some flurries, but drier than Monday with President's Day seeing the return of Storm 3 with more accumulating snow likely.